All right, if it's possible, I'm going to quickly go over these comments here. All right, Alex MES from Italy says, I saw it now. I totally agree with you. I was trying to say that the opinion of the man speaking in the other video was incorrect. And that what he called the second coming was not referring to Jesus, but to death, first and second. But as you said, it is not very important because it concerns those who are already deprived of all hope, condemned for eternity. So what he's talking about is uh, my reference to another person talking about this subject and um, what, uh, you know, people want to confuse this idea of, uh, you know, the first coming, the second coming, and then... Uh, you know, why not a third coming and a fourth coming and a 22nd coming and so on and so forth. The second coming is the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why not just say the return of our Lord Jesus Christ? The second coming is okay until you start mixing in these ideas of multiple returns. That's... That's where the issue, where, that's where it becomes confusing, right? And then, of course, he says, uh, it's not important to fully understand what exactly is going to happen to the unsaved after we are changed into our incorruptible bodies. Okay, they're going to be destroyed forever. Uh, that's enough, really. Exactly how that occurs, it's not really important. Let those guys that aren't saved deal with it, figure that out, really. Our hope, our vision, is on eternal life. Right? And so, and another thought, just to sort of parallel that thought. Alright. Whoa. See if I can remember the verse. See, I... Remember Lot's wife. Okay. Look think about how she turned around and looked behind her. Right? Remember Lot's wife. She turned to look at the life that she once lived. And she paid for it. So when Jesus says, remember Lot's wife, don't do what she did. Don't turn back to look at the life that you once lived. And that life that you once lived before you were saved has an, a very bad ending right and a very bad outcome for those that do not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ they will be destroyed forever and what exactly happens to them you know what it doesn't matter to you does it because you're gonna have eternal life everlasting life and you're gonna be changed into an incorruptible body now all right so just keep that in mind and so um and that's so that's what i mean you know when i say it that it doesn't really matter we don't need to really get into you know we don't have to make movies and write novels and make a tv series about what's going to happen to them that are not saved our focus should be on what's in store for us right okay so that's what all I meant by that thanks Alex from Italy and he says I completely agree certain passages do not exist in the Bible and whoever writes this has reasons contrary to our Lord Jesus Christ thanks and bye from Italy so yeah there we have the enemy out there and they are at constantly attacking us every single day relentlessly non-stop so think about that if you are born of God are you letting the enemy 
trample all over you. All right, I'm not going. I'm not saying you got to go out there and donate to the church, or otherwise you're you're the devil. All right, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying stand up for what you believe. Don't waver in what you believe. Don't give in to the enemy. And what's this say? Um, roar sober. Let's see. Be sober. Be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Now, you think, well, well he's not going to get me. Well, he's after your children. He's after your family. He's after your friends. He's after your community, the people around you. Constantly going after them going after you so um, you know put on your full armor what is that verse pull on your full armor of put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles or wiles of the devil I'm thinking a wild e coyote wiles and that is that how you say that wiles so, put on the whole armor of God, right? Put on the whole... Oh, <laughs> it. thank you for that. Not full armor, but whole armor, right? And let's do this. Oh, jeez. What is... Oh, I know what it is. Not armor, but shield. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery dots, darts, excuse me, of the wicked. All right. I mean, we have everything that we need to fight this fight, and it's right there in the Bible. And the secret is to believe in it, to believe that it is from God. That's the key. You think faith has the power to overcome death, but faith doesn't have the power to give us a perfect Bible from God? Are you crazy? Well, you're putting a limitation on God that's not there. And at the end of the world, we're going to find out that this Bible... It's true the entire time, every bit of it. Not one error, not one contradiction, not one omission. All right, 100% accurate all the way through from Genesis to Revelation. And so let's go. And here BRL, he's got a, he's always got great comments. So let's read. Here's one I've been struggling with. Fellowship with those who think they are redeemed, but deep inside they are not. I know someone who thinks they are of the brethren, but they do not know how to study the Holy Scriptures without using the works in such of man, using Hebrew and Greek, etc. Yeah, so let me just hold that thought right there. So what happens is when, you, when people are saying, well, the Hebrew says this, and the Greek says that, yeah, I've seen people point out to the New Testament and say, well, the New Testament word for shield of faith is cracker jack box. I mean, or whatever. I mean, they could they could make up whatever, right? And there's two problems there. One, you forgot that the Old Testament is said to be written in ancient Hebrew and the New Testament written in Koine Greek. Now you forgot all about, all about that. You're just mixing. You're just throwing out a language there. You could have said Chinese, right? And you see this often. Now I'm uh, sort of exaggerating the Cracker Jack box thing, but that's what. That's basically what they're doing. They're changing what the Word of God says, and using language or word that fits their worldview, right? And by doing so. They're trying to get you to doubt God and believe them. 
right? And I'm telling you, they don't know Hebrew. They don't know Greek. They're deceivers. They, and look, they're deceived themselves. Uh, it's not like they're a mastermind. They're just deceived themselves. That's all. So the obvious problem I have with that is why can't I believe the Bible that I hold in my hands? I got a Bible that's from God. That's the perfect word of God. I hold it in my hands and I believe every word of it. But you come along and say, well, now you got to go to the Greek and the Hebrew and you got to believe everything that I say. And even though you don't know a lick of Hebrew or Greek, you're just making stuff up. And there is no, and not only that, there is no original Bible in Hebrew or in Greek. So anyways, anyways, I do. I go on and think about this. Show me the original. Show me the Bible that you believe is perfect. All right. Just show it to me because I want to see it man if it if I don't have it man and you love me then show me show me this perfect Bible if I'm wrong I want to know I'm wrong show me this perfect Bible if I'm wrong this perfect Bible that's in Hebrew or in Greek or in Chinese or any other language I want to see it and I'm telling you once you look for it you're gonna find out it does not exist there is no original Bible, there is no original manuscript. And in fact, if you actually read the Bible, you would see that languages come and go, but the word of the Lord endures forever. All right, so all the languages spoken today will not be spoken in the future. But we the language we do speak right now, the word of God is in our language. It's not it's not set aside it's not disappeared it's not a mystery we have it and then the enemy comes along and they try to confuse the word of god and tries to get you to doubt the word of god and this has been going on since the beginning of creation all right so let's continue i feel like i could rant about that every day for an hour they don't use the holy scriptures some call by kjv and yeah, but it's not, the King James Bible is not a version. It's the Bible. All right. It's not a version of the Bible. It is the Bible. All right. Nor do they believe that a son of God can read on their own with, their, with the guidance of the Holy Ghost and be shown references. Okay, so I think that's, that goes along with what I just said. You believe in God, right? You believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You're born of God. You have the Bible in your hands. You, you are as much of an expert as there is of anybody in the entire world. There's nobody that has greater access to, to the true Word of God in who has access to the mysteries of this world nobody has greater access than you I'm serious about that now think about is Peter lying oops do I not know how to spell that's true I don't know how to spell uh, but ye are a chosen generation you are a royal priesthood and holy nation a peculiar people right so you are the elect of God you are the chosen of God and your royalty man or lady or whoever your royalty and you have access to everything. There's not somebody with secret information. And think about this. Think about this. Nothing secret that shall not be made manifest. John 18, Jesus says, I spake openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue 
and in the temple, whither the Jews always resort. And in secret have I said nothing. Think about that. There's nothing that is a secret that is being hidden from you in another language or in a cave. None of that. It's right here in the open. And the whole, and think about this, if you're not a believer and you read the Bible, you're not going to understand it. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ and you don't believe the Bible, you're not going to understand anything and you're not going to be saved. Right? If you are a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you have faith. So also ought you to have faith in the Bible. Bible that you hold in your hands. They are the words of God. Why would you put the words of man above the words of God? And that's my contention, is that that's what people are doing. And BRL, he's recognizing that, I think. Let's continue. continue. Have I read all this? It really gets me. Yeah, it gets to me too. I feel like I'm feeding them all my food that I have worked hard to obtain. Right. So that's another thing that I think uh, probably takes experience is that to realize that, man, you can't convince, especially me, of everybody I've ever known, I can't convince nobody of nothing. Nobody will listen to me. It takes somebody else to figure it out and then they and then them people will listen to right i'm not kidding you about that that's how i feel i feel like i nobody will ever even consider what i'm saying they always try to oppose that's how i feel they always try to oppose what i'm saying and then um, somebody else will figure it out and then they will listen to okay so anyways uh what you you know you can't convince anybody of anything right but what you can do is plant the seeds all right just plant the seeds of truth and then trust the spirit of god to grow those seeds of truth and if they accept it it'll continue to grow in them and if they reject it the truth withers and dies in them and so what's going to happen to them, right? So they, it's on them now. It's not on you. And all we can do is trust God, right? And then new. It says, I learned that they have not read the Holy Scriptures since they were saved at preteens. They are over 50 years old now. What do you do? Well, I don't, like I said, just plant the seeds and, and trust God. That's all you can do. But it is interesting the how many people there are that you know go to church very loyal to their church to their uh, you know to and that sort of thing and uh, you know they they re represent the church and all that sort of stuff and like you said since they were teens and uh, there's a lot of people like that who say they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ but whether they do or not it's not really for me to judge is it but uh, all I can do is encourage people to read the Bible every day I mean, well, the enemy is attacking us every day so why aren't you reading the Bible every day you could read the Bible for 16 hours a day every day for 70 years and still have a whole lot to learn and if you're thinking you got it all figured out you're a damn fool a damn fool because you ain't got it all figured out but we can continue to grow as long as we're continuing in the word as long as we're continuing to read we'll continue to grow if you're not reading what makes you think you're growing, right? If it's just one chapter, man, it takes five minutes. You'll spend two hours watching a Netflix movie about zombies. 
You can't spend five minutes reading the Bible? Come on, man. All right, so, no, thanks for that comment. And, uh, look, um, there's really nothing you can do, man. Just maybe set the example, plant the seeds, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and trust God. Enjoy life. Really. That, isn't that what life's all about? Enjoy this day. Don't worry about tomorrow. Enjoy this day. And when the opportunity, when the opportunity presents itself, you know, let the Spirit guide you and maybe you can help somebody. Right? That's all you can do. And I, I believe I read this. Uh, I believe I read I don't recall exactly. Yeah, no, I read these yesterday. I don't know if I talked about them, but uh, I appreciate all these comments. Uh, if there's anything more you would like me to elaborate on, I would. Uh, it would be my pleasure, right? You have any tough questions for me? I mean, ask the tough questions. Really stick it to me, man. Come on, give me something I can't handle. That's. I, you know what even if it's the stupidest simplest question feel free to ask it all right because uh, there's nothing you you are important and there's nothing that uh, is on your mind that's not important all right so anything at all please do ask